You're listening to the Small Business Talk podcast with Kathy Smith. Small Business Talk is a podcast for business owners and entrepreneurs who want a better way to run their businesses without spending years doing it the hard way. Small Business Talk is hosted by Kathy Smith, who has run the same marketing agency for more than 17 years and helped hundreds of business owners achieve their marketing goals. Welcome to Small Business Talk. This is your New Year special bonus. Happy New Year! Can you believe it's 2022? I was talking to my daughter over Christmas and she was saying it sounds like a sci-fi date and it certainly does. I can remember 1999 being such an amazing time and being a little bit scared about what it was all going to happen and it seems like 2022 is a bit the same but it turned out awesomely. And I'm sure that 2022 is going to be awesome as well. I just can't wait to see the amazing things that everybody's going to do. So I thought I'd just jump on and give you a quick New Year's bonus because next episode is going to be our 150th. OMG, I would never have thought that Small Business Talk would hit 150. I didn't really plan to see how long it would go. When I did my course way back, my mentor said, do five episodes and then five more and five more again. And guess what? 150 next episode. So incredible. Thank you so much for listening. Really, really appreciate it. So today I thought I would give you social media tips for 2022. So let's get into it. Social media is an ever-changing beast. Whether you love it or hate it, in one form or another, it is here to stay and it's a very powerful business tool. No matter which platform you choose, they all have two things in common, community and real connection. Community has been the buzzword for all of 2021 and I don't see it going away anytime soon. When you think about it, We've all lived in families and communities for our entire history. We are social beings and thrive on interaction. Even the most introverted person still has some sort of community. Community goes even further now as it's been linked to happiness and a sense of well-being. With the year of lockdown restrictions, including social access in 2021, It was no wonder that people turned online to fulfil their community needs. In our fast-paced digital world of hacking, fake profiles, distorted sense of reality that runs rampant, real connections are really important. Digital disconnect is large and an ongoing issue for many people and their businesses too. And this is why real connections are very, very important. Working in social media space for more than 10 years now with my business Catco Enterprises, we've seen a shift back to real. Overly polished and perfectly scripted video styles have now gone by the wayside. People are looking for the handheld, spare of a moment, just popped in to tell you style videos with heartfelt content. We all want real. Trust is built by making connections that you think that could be me. Oh, mine. Oh, yes, I do trust you. I think or hope that you can help me. Giving behind the scenes, before and afters, a little bit more information about team members, your actual products, customers using your products, and things like that just make such a difference. So here are some of my predictions. Let's start with LinkedIn. Newsletters. Newsletters on LinkedIn is a thing and is becoming very popular. Because it's new, so LinkedIn is pushing it out. Polls, you must have seen all the polls towards the end of last year. They are really increasing reach. Silly, but it's once again a new thing on LinkedIn, so they're pushing out the reach. We did some experiments late in 2021, and we were getting three to four times the reach of any of our others. And by doing polls, we also found that our other posts were also being increased. So like all social media, if you play their game, that platform will help to spread your word and increase the reach of your other content. 
sharing links in comments when it's done by mobile actually gives you a preview image. So not when you do it on your desktop, but if you do it as a mobile. And side note to that, don't share links in your actual posts because none of the social media is like that. They don't like you taking their audience away to somewhere else, even if it is to your website. Don't edit your post in the first few hours unless it's a real train smash. And if it is, delete it and reload it. None of the socials like you playing with their things. So just if it's a little bit, leave it. Otherwise, delete it. And sometimes the grammar police can actually help push your post as well. They're also saying now not to put your comment as the first comment. So if you're going to put a link in the comments, wait until somebody else has put a comment first. And sometimes that comment will be, can't see the link. And then you can personally give it to them as well. DMs are a perfect way to do that. And make sure you respond to every comment. It's nothing worse than having a heartfelt comment and then it going on deaf ears. So make sure you are responding. So what about Facebook? Is Facebook dead? No, it's certainly not. But you do need to monitor your insights regularly. See what's happening, see what's working and change things. But not everything all at once. Once again, respond to your comments. Produce videos and lives. They are going hot on Facebook. Facebook loves video, especially short form video. Unless you're looking at a specific reason, long form is definitely for YouTube. And prioritize group sharing. Group sharing is fabulous because those people don't necessarily have to have seen you before. They don't have to have liked your page. They don't have to have had any interaction. And of course, if you can answer people's comments and questions in groups, that really does stand you out as an expert and an authority. And even better, if somebody recommends you, then that's even more points. But remember that you need to be commenting too. So if somebody's recommended you, you need to thank them, but then also put a comment in the main comment thread so that other people can see you, not just the person that's commented. Instagram. Instagram is definitely hot and going to be hot up against TikTok, of course. Reels are going off. Think about use, utilizing stickers, which are available in stories, replies, questions, that sort of thing. Collaborating. So collaborating on reels, doing products with other creatives is really good, making sure that you are sharing and they're sharing for you. Most relatable and shareable content. We all like a little bit of a laugh, but make sure it's actually relatable to your audience and your product. Friday funnies are great, but if that's all you're doing, then you're not going to build an audience. Use Instagram carousels, definitely underutilized. And remember to try story highlights and sometimes change them up. No one has time for that. In 2022, we are still going to continue to be time poor as we see how the new variants of COVID affect the world, travel and our businesses. More ever, we want things to be quick. Your videos need to be short. As I mentioned before, unless you're on YouTube and doing educational in nature, we want our videos to be short and to the point. We won't watch just any story. They have to be entertaining and engaging. Multiple videos can actually work well if they're really entertaining and engaging, and especially in your stories. So you can have a series of them. Some have predicted that 2022 might be more retrospective to the slightly longer video content with Reels being pushed to 60 seconds and TikTok now going to three minutes. So watch this space. But as always, it's got to hit the mark with your audience. And Reels are certainly a great way to extend your reach and increase your audience. So make sure you're using them if you're not already. And remember, they don't have to be face to camera. They don't have to be the TikTok style. They can be photos with stickers, music, and animation on them. And you can do that all in the Instagram app. So it's not that difficult. If you haven't had a go, just have a little bit of a try. Maybe over the holidays, have a bit of a play. Remember to save them back to your camera roll 
and then you can reuse them, use them on Facebook and other things as well. So off the back of community in 2021, we're seeing more and more collaborations. Businesses cross-promoting each other, networking groups strengthening relationships and complementary businesses working together. Watch this space. We're going to be doing a summit later in the year. So lots of collaborations happening. Making real connections is going to continue. We want to be known, we want to be seen, and we really want to connect. If you wouldn't do it in real life, don't do it on socials. So all those DMs where you see those verbal vomits, you wouldn't do that on real life. You wouldn't walk up to somebody and say, hey, I'm Kathy, buy my stuff, la, 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 la. You'd at least say, hi, how are you? What do you do? So make sure you treat socials exactly the same. So have a fabulous new year. I hope you're getting a break. Watch out for our 150th episode next week. It's going to be a good one. So happy new year to you. See you next week. SBT audience, remember to enjoy your journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Small Business Talk podcast and head on over to smallbusinesstalk.com.au forward slash downloads for all the show notes and links to this episode. Remember, to be great, you must start. Pick one tip from today's episode, take action and implement it. Let's meet again next week at the same time and place. Until then, take action. And SBT community, enjoy your journey.